Hello YouTube, um, it's Toxic Mushroom 932 um, Today I'm going to be posting a couple of videos of some news. Some tragic news, some good news, and some facts here and there. Um, this one will be the first set of news. There will be several videos today. This one is a tragedy that happened Friday. Um, it was in, in, at Aurora, Colorado where a massacre happened at a movie theater or Century 16 if you want to call it. The massacre happened Friday at the 12 o'clock release of The Dark Knight Rises. The massacre it was one of the uh, biggest massacres in US history like Columbine in 1999 and Virginia Tech in 2007. This one a man called James Holmes he was a bright student, he, gra he graduated high school and went on to be a brain surgeon in college. He, that, that's what he wanted to do. But something went horribly wrong. He was stockpiling weapons for about four to five months. He was planning this for a while. He had a bunch of chemicals, bombs, explosives, grenades. He had 30 grenades in his apartment and chemical booby traps in his apartment. Um, when this happened, at the midnight release, the it happened at 12, of course, at midnight, but the shooting started at 12:30. Um, James Holmes had his car parked at the back of the theater, but he propped open the fire, um, do the the fire alarm door, because he bought a ticket as a regular person. And about half an hour into the movie, he escaped or he snuck out of the theater went to his car, he put on a, a tactical vest, a, uh, a protection for your groin, he bought um, a gas mask, he bought tactical gloves, and he bought two handguns, an assault rifle, and a shotgun, and he had a, a, a chemical explosives like tear gas mixed with something else. So first, he threw the chemical gas in the audience of the movie when the shooting in the movie was happening. He started shooting. And he shot once in the air with a shotgun. Then he pulled out his assault rifle and started blazing over there. And it got jammed, and that's when he started using his pistols. He was shooting for a good one, two, three minutes around there. And a total of 12 people died. Which is also one of the people is a three month old infant baby. The victims were 16 to 35, and he injured 58 people. There was about seven that were in critical condition, and the rest were like minor injuries. Um, what what I think of this is terrible. This is the third, well, not the third. There's plenty of other shootings in America. But, like, Columbine, Virginia Tech, Texas uh, Massacre, and then Aurora Massacre now. It's getting pretty crazy because this world is coming to, like, almost an end because everyone is dying all over the place. In the past couple days, there was, like, a, there was a car accident that killed um, 13 people in Texas. And there was a house explosion that happened today. Uh, that killed a girl and injured three others. Pretty sure three. But, um... It's crazy, but... Th the guy, James Holmes, 24, he was a good student, but he dropped out of college, and... It's just crazy. I have nothing else to really say about this. It's ridiculous. The Columbine killings was Eric and Dylan. Forgot the last names. And... They wanted to make power in the world. They wanted to be like Attila the Hun to make a historical impact to the world. They thought they could show the world their power but they ended up killing themselves. And and Virginia Tech, he the that guy Cho, he 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 wanted revenge on everyone because they put him to jail because he was a stalker. And he had selective mutism, anxiety and depressive thoughts all the time and he felt betrayed for everybody. That's why he shot everybody. And then like the Texas one where that guy shot a bunch of soldiers I'm not sure I haven't really read a lot about that but this Aurora one is crazy the guy dyed his hair 
before anything has happened and called himself the Joker, which wasn't um, a villain back in the second Batman movie, The Dark Knight, where at the ending, the Joker dyed his hair red. But this is crazy. I give my heart to those people that died, and I feel sorry for them. But there's nothing we can do now, but hopefully that guy will get a death sentence and die. So... That's me. I don't know about any of you else. Comment what you think at the bottom about the massacre. And thanks for being with me. Toxic Mushroom 932 is out.